Hi all, welcome back to another session of Volcan Tutor. In this session, I am discussing about cyanide and isocyanate. In that, I am mainly discussing about what is cyanide and isocyanate. How will you name the compound containing isocyanate and cyanide? And then I am discussing about the method of preparations of cyanide and isocyanate. And lastly, I am discussing about the chemical properties of cyanide and isocyanate. So let us come to the first topic that is what is cyanide and isocyanate. Cyanide and isocyanates are functional isomers of each other. That means they have same molecular formula but different functional group in it. The main functional group of cyanide is CM. That means the aryl group or alkyl group attached in the cyanide is through carbon atom. While in the isocyanate, the functional group is NC. That means the aryl group or alkyl group is attached to the nitrogen atom in the isocyanate. And this isocyanate are otherwise called as carbyl amines. So next, we can discuss how to name the cyanide and isocyanate compound. Again, there are two methods of naming the cyanide and isocyanate compound. That is first by common name as well as the IUPAC name. Again, there are several methods of naming the isocyanate and cyanide containing compound by common manner. So first way to name by commonly is that first we have to name the alkyl or aryl group attached to the cyanide or isocyanate and then we have to follow the word that is cyanide or isocyanate. That is we have to use cyanide or isocyanate as the suffix. For example, our compound is CH3CN. Here it is cyanide and the alkyl group attached is one carbon atom containing alkyl group that is methyl group. So it can be named as methyl and then we have to name it as the name as cyanide that is methyl cyanide. Suppose our compound is an isocyanate that is CS3NC then here also the methyl group is the substituent so alkyl group so methyl isocyanate as the common name. Another way of naming cyanide or isocyanate containing compound commonly is by naming as a derivative of carboxylic acid that means they can be replaced by the terminal oic or unic acid of the carboxylic acid by O nitrate or isonitrate. That means, for example, we can take that is CH3, CH2, CN. This is a 3 carbon atom containing cyanide, and that may again we have to consider the 3 carbon atom containing acid. 3 carbon atom containing acid means it is propionic acid. So that onic acid is replaced by O nitrate. That means it can be named as propionitrate. Suppose we are having benzene ring containing as uh, cyanide. For example, C6H5CN. So in that case, first we have to think about the acid containing benzene ring. That is benzoic acid. So if cyanide is attached to the benzene ring means it can be named as benzonitrate. That is oic acid is replaced by O nitrate. And if it is NC means it is replaced by oic acid is replaced by O isonitrate. We have already discussed that isocyanate are otherwise termed as carbylamine. So we can name commonly in terms of carbylamine also. So when we are looking that is we have to name first the alkyl group or aryl group then followed by the suffix that is carbylamine. So let us take an example that is CH3, CH2, NC. In this case the alkyl group attached is a two carbon atom containing alkyl group that means it is ethyl group. So it can be named as ethyl carbylamine. Suppose it is a benzene ring containing NC means benzene ring that is a hydrogen atom is replacing from the benzene ring and that aryl group is termed as phenyl group. So it can be named as phenyl carbyl amine as the common name. Next we can discuss how to name the cyanide containing compound by IUPAC B. Why I am not telling about the isocyanate is that there is no IUPAC name for isocyanate. And they are usually named by common manner only. So cyanide compound can be IUPAC named as alkyl nitrate or arene nitrate. That means we have to name the alkene containing the same number of carbon atom or arene containing compound. And then we are adding a suffix that is nitrate. So suppose our compound is CH3, CH2, CN. Here it is a 3 carbon atom containing alkene chain. So it can be named as propane. 
first it is the alkyl member is propane. Then we are using the suffix that is nitrate. So it can be named as propane nitrate. Suppose our compound is a benzene ring containing cyanide. Then it can be IUPSA named as benzene nitride because benzene is the aryl member. So benzene nitride as the IUPSC name. Next we can discuss how to prepare cyanide containing organic compound. First method of preparation is from alkyl halide. So when an any alkyl halide is treated with potassium cyanide, mainly ionic cyanide we are using. It is so potassium cyanide can be used or either sodium cyanide can be used. In presence of aqueous ethanol, we are getting cyanide containing organic compound. It is just a nucleophilic substitution reaction. That means here cyanide is a better nucleophile and a strong base. So a strong nucleophile is displaces a weaker nucleophile that is halide ion in this reaction. An important point to note in this reaction is that alkyl halide can have primary, tertiary and secondary alkyl halide. So if you are using a primary alkyl halide, nucleophilic substitution reaction is taking place. That is a alkyl cyanide, primary alkyl cyanide can be obtained. But if you are using a tertiary alkyl halide, we are getting an elimination product. That means a hydrogen halide is eliminated and result in the formations of an alkene. In the case of a tertiary alkyl halide, we are not getting a tertiary alkyl cyanide. We are getting an alkene as the product. But if we are using a secondary alkyl halide and we are carrying out with potassium cyanide, we can get substituted product as well as the eliminated product. That is, we can get alkene as well as the secondary alkyl cyanide can also be obtained. Next method of preparations of cyanide containing compound is from primary amides. So, amide is having the functional group CONH2. So, when any primary alkyl group containing amides are treated with a dehydrating agent such as P2O5, that is phosphorus pentoxide, or POCl3, that is phosphorus oxychloride, or we can use cyanide chloride, when we are using this dehydrating agent, either of these, we can get cyanide as the product with the eliminations of a water molecule from the amide. Next method of preparations of cyanide containing compound is by modified Sandmeyer reaction. Again, it is a best method for preparing an aryl cyanide. That means first we have to prepare the diazonium salt. Diazonium salt can be prepared from aniline and which on treatment with nitrous acid at 25 degrees Celsius, we can get diazonium salt. And after getting the diazonium salt, we can treat with potassium cyanide in the presence of CuCN, that is copper cyanide, in or we can use copper powder and we, then we can get benzene nitrate with the eliminations of a nitrogen molecule. Another method of preparation of cyanide containing organic compound is from oxide. Oxime is generally a condensation product obtained by reacting an aldehyde and an hydroxyl amine that is NH2OH. There is an elimination of a water molecule and result in the formation of an oxide. And when this oxide is treated with acetic anhydride, we can get alkyl cyanide or aryl cyanide with the elimination of a water molecule. Next method of preparation of cyanide containing organic compound is from Grignard reagent. Grignard reagent is having the formula that is RMGX. So when RMGX is treated with cyanogen chloride that is CNCl in the presence of dry ether that is magnesium chloride will be eliminated and then cyanide get attached to the alkyl group that is a cyanide product containing organic compound can be obtained. Next method of preparation is from alkyl sulfonate that is we are using sulfonic acid in that sulfonic acid hydrogen get replaced by potassium that means we are using potassium salt of alkyl sulfonate then it is treated with potassium cyanide and cyanide get attached and there is a removal of potassium sulfate and in this way we can obtain alkyl cyanide next we can discuss how to prepare isocyanate containing organic compound we have already discussed that cyanide containing organic compound can be prepared from alkyl halide by treating with ionic cyanide that is potassium cyanide in the presence of aqueous ethanol. Similarly, we can prepare from alkyl halide by treating with silver cyanide that is covalent cyanide in the presence of aqueous ethanol. Then we are getting mainly carbylamine or isocyanide as the main product. 
So, cyanide containing organic compound can be obtained from alkyl halide by treating with ionic cyanide that is potassium cyanide or sodium cyanide but isocyanide containing organic compound can be obtained from alkyl halide by treating with covalent cyanide such as silver cyanide in presence of aqueous ethanol. Next method of preparations of isocyanate is by carbylamine reactions. So carbylamine reactions is generally given by primary amine only. If you are taking secondary amine or tertiary amine, it won't undergo carbylamine reactions. And when primary amine, we in any primary amine, it can be aliphatic primary amine or aromatic primary amine. It is treated with chloroform in the presence of alcoholic potash. We are getting isocyanate as a product. And that reaction is having the name that is carbylamine reactions. Next method of preparations of isocyanate is by the dehydration of N substituted formamide. Again, we have already discussed that when any primary amide undergo dehydration in the presence of P2O5 or POCl3 or SOCl2, we are getting cyanide containing organic compound. Similarly, if you are taking N substituted formamide and undergoing dehydration in the presence of POCl3 and a solvent is used that is pyridine, in this case we are getting carbylamine or isocyanate as the product. Next we can discuss the chemical properties of cyanate and isocyanate. In that we can discuss what happened when cyanate and isocyanate containing organic compound undergo hydrolysis. Again cyanate undergo hydrolysis by both acidic media as well as the basic media. So when cyanide undergo hydrolysis by acidic media or basic media, we are getting mainly carboxylic acid containing the same number of carbon atom. But if the isocyanide is undergoing hydrolysis, it can be hydrolyzed only by acidic medium. And if it get hydrolyzed, we are getting one of the product as the formic acid that is HCOOH and we will get other part as a primary, any primary amine we can obtain. That is depending upon our alkyl group taken in the isocyanate. Next we can discuss what happened when a cyanate containing organic compound as well as isocyanate containing organic compound undergo reductions. Again reduction can be carried out by complete reduction or as well as the partial reductions. So let us first discuss what will happen when cyanate containing organic compound undergo complete reduction. Again complete reduction can be carried out with hydrogen in the presence of nickel or hydrogen in the presence of platinum or we can use lithium aluminum hydrate or we can use sodium in the presence of an alcohol. So when alkyl cyanide is treated with these uh, any of these reducing agent we are getting mainly primary amine as a product that is hydrogen get added to the triple bond of the cyanide that is C triple bond N hydrogen get added and we are getting primary amine as the product and this reaction is having the name that is termed as Mendius reduction. But in the case of an isocyanate, if we are carrying out the reduction, that is a complete reduction, we are mainly getting that is secondary amine as a product. Next, we can discuss the partial reductions of alkyl cyanate. So when an alkyl cyanate is treated with SNCl2, that is tannous chloride and hydrogen, in the presence of an acidic medium, the cyanate get reduced to aldehyde. And this partial reduction is having the name that is termed as Stephens reductions. And it is given by alkyl cyanate. And so alkyl cyanate when treated with the reagent is mainly SNCl2 and it get uh, reduced to that is cyanate get reduced to aldehyde. And that reaction is termed as the Stephens reduction. Next we can discuss what happened when any cyanate containing organic compound is treated with Grignard reagent. Again, when we are taking the Grignard reagent, that is RMGX, R become, that is alkyl group become a better nucleophile and Mg part become positive, that is MgX become positive part. So, when it added to the alkyl cyanide or aryl cyanide, the alkyl group get attached to the carbon and nitrogen in the uh, electronegative nitrogen is attached with the magnesium. So, it form an addition product with Grignard reagent. Then after that it undergoing hydrolysis will result in the formations of a ketone. Next important chemical properties is the addition reactions. 
It is mainly isocyanate but not cyanate undergo addition with certain elements like chlorine molecule or sulfur molecule or um, a mercury oxide or poison to form different addition products. And the main reason behind this addition is that when we look at the isocyanate functional group that is N double bond C and with C is having electron deficient that is 6 electrons in that outermost shell. So, in order to complete the octet, they undergo addition reaction with these molecules such as chlorine or sulfur or mercury oxide or ozone. So, when we look this isocyanate, any isocyanate, if you are taking and if you are undergoing addition reaction with chlorine molecule, it results in the formations of alkyl amino carbonyl chloride. That means this carbon to get octet that is 2 chloride molecule is added to this carbon and forming alkyl amino carbonyl chloride as the main product. Similarly, when isocyanate or carbalamine react with the sulfur, the sulfur can donate electron to the carbon and thereby completing its octet and result in the formations of isothiocyanate that is the formations of N double bond C double bond S that is a functional group present in the isothiocyanate. Similarly, when isocyanate react with mercury oxide, it result in the formations of isocyanate that is oxygen is forming a bond with the carbon and completing its octet and that is N double bond C double bond O that is isocyanate and mainly methyl isocyanate it is responsible for the Bhopal gas tragedy in 1984 and again when isocyanate or carbalamine react with the ozone that is O3, it again result in the formations of alkyl isocyanate that is NC, N double bond, C double bond O will be formed. Similarly, when I, uh, any cyanate, isocyanate react with the chlorine in the presence of DMSO solvent that is dimethyl sulfoxide solvent, it result in the formations of isocyanate, same isocyanate as the main product. Another important properties of isocyanate is the isomerization reaction. That means isocyanate are less stable. So when it is heated for a long time, it can undergo isomerization and result in the formations of a stable cyanate. So when any alkyl cyanate or aryl cyanate, when it is heated for a long time, it can undergo isomerization to form its corresponding cyanate. So that is all in this session. Hope you like this session. Stay tuned for the next session. Till then, bye. Thank you.